The terminal end of retentive arm of extra coronal retainer is placed at gingival third, occlusal third, middle third, and junction of middle and gingival third. Okay. Now this is a very uh, subjective question, but still very direct. Let's try to understand what the question is. So we have uh, retainers. Direct retainers are of two types: intraoral and uh, intracoronal, and extracoronal. We are talking about extracoronal retainers or class assemblies. Now, in a class assembly, you have a few components. So you have the retentive terminal. The reciprocal and the rest. Okay, so ideally it would look like one retentive arm, one rest, and one reciprocal arm together connected by a body to a minor connector. The question is terminal end of the retentive arm. So this part of the uh, extra coronal retainer should be located where? Now the function of retentive arm is to provide retention. The function of a reciprocal arm is to provide stabilization. We have discussed this in the bytes on direct retainers. Uh, you can go through that. And rest is for support. So if you look at this image over here of Prothero's cone theory, it is believed that a tooth has inclined similar to two cones connected to each other by a base. Okay, so the tooth is conical in shape. Now the highest contour, this is the bulkiest portion. Supposing if this was your tooth, you want to get the retention from under this portion, right? So the retentive arm or the retentive tip should cross the height of contour or the highest point of bulk. Okay. So this is the survey line that shows the height of contour and gingivally and coronally. So if it is an extra coronal retainer, then the tip of the retentive arm should cross this height of contour only then it will provide retention because if it is above the height of contour, then it will not engage the undercut. It has to engage below this area to get retention. Whereas a reciprocal arm is only for stabilization. Okay, so it has to lie just on the survey line. That means buccally is the retentive arm, lingually is the reciprocal arm. This line over here is the survey line or the height of contour. So the retentive arm must cross the tip must cross this survey line to get retention whereas for the reciprocal tip it should just stay at the junction of the gingival and the middle third now if this was a gingivally approaching class system then the eye bar should cross the retentive this portion to provide retention okay the eye bar should cross the height of contour and provide retention like this if it was rpi Okay, so RPI would be something like this, right? So the retentive tip must cross the height of contour. Now, if you look at the options, gingival third, occlusal third, middle third, and junction of middle and gingival third. So the tip or the retentive arm terminal should be in the gingival third for a conventional extra coronal retainer like a simple circlate clasp. So the retentive tip will be in the gingival third, the rest will be in the occlusal third and the reciprocal arm can be in the middle third or at the junction of middle and gingival third. Now I told you it can be subjective because on the basis of survey line, the survey lines can be too high or too diagonal or it can be too low. So that way the uh, tip configuration and the position will change but by a general thumb rule this is what we are going to follow. So remember this image because there are a couple of other questions over here that can also be asked in the exam.